Hey folks, welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K21. So the course we've got for you today is Munin's Well GC and it is by Rich in UFC 99. Now if you sort of know the name of Munin, it is one of Odin's Ravens as well as Hugin. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump into the course here. We'll have a look at the settings first. Let's jump in and have a look at the settings. Okay, fairways and normal greens are firm, green speeds fast, time of day is dawn, and the weather is overcast. We are going to be playing off the white tees, 7,209 yards, so let's get into it. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll put a link in the description for the write-up that um, Rich has put in. It's a very nice write-up, yeah, read through it. And this is also part of another competition held over at TGC Tours. Now, this is probably one of the best concepts I've um, read about for a competition. It is absolutely fantastic, to be honest. I'll actually read some of it out. Ooh, got some pretty strong wind today. What we'll do, we'll jump up into the Skycam. Have a quick look. Tell you what, let's go and have a look at the plot first. Okay, very nice looking plot. And we'll come down. Take a look at the clubhouse. And I'm going to read out some of the concept for this um, competition as i said probably the best um, concept i've read about or seen for a competition course oh that's some lovely plant there love the color palette he's got there as well nice bits of rock work oh let me just jump over to the other screen I do have my steam friends and all that open just shut them down okay that should be it oh i do like this the way it comes down in sort of uh, different levels. That's pretty cool. I put a little patio set out there. Again, just set out there, have a nice glass of beer after you're around. So yeah, let's go on to the concept of this uh, competition. The, the competition is actually called Total Recall. And basically what it is, what he says here, oh, this is run by uh, Jay Raygun. Uh, so, you and some golfing buddies are sipping on cold ones after a recent round, trading stories about some of the more memorable courses you've played after one of them mentioned shooting 78 at some resort course in Arizona. You lean in, you lean in and proudly exclaim, I finally broke par. No way, that's great, one of them says. Where did you play? You sit there for a second, mouth open, suddenly confused and can't remember. You shoot your best score and you can't remember the name of the course or the place. Wait a minute, you say, I still have the scorecard, so <clears throat> this is all in the write-up. So you run outside, come back in, holding a rectangular piece of plain stock paper, you drop it in front of your friends, see? One of them picks it up, turns it over in their hands, except for the yardage, the whole information, and your scribbled scores is totally blank. No course name, no address, nothing. They start to laugh, is this a joke? Did you print this out at home? They expect us to uh, believe you, that you broke par on some course you can't even remember. So basically, what the concept of this is, what Jay Raygun's um, set out, he's actually set out a, a scorecard with all the, the yardages, the whole pars and all that as well. And he set out a list of requirements for the holes. So say you go on to, to hole one, uh, where is it? So each designer will submit a uniquely named 18 hole course and say, like, say hole one, say it's, uh, let me have a look at the scorecard here. Uh, say it's 360 yards, it's a par five. So, let me just run down here. So, vaguely remember, hole one starts near the clubhouse and features some hazard that must be carried with the drive. The green should be small, or at least appear that way. And there is at least one bunker in front of the green. So basically, all the people in this competition on hole one, they have to have a drivable hazard and the green itself has to have a bunker in front of the green. Then gone to hole two, same thing, certain memories. Uh, each designer has their own concept of what he's uh, stated in the memory. So each designer is gonna lay out a, a totally different course from the memories that he's um, stated, but it must have the same yardage and same par for each hole. So it's a really, really good concept of um, competition and again they can use anything they want any sort of textures anything like that 
Well, I will do because there's quite a lot to read about it. I will put a link in the description along with a, a link for this course. So go over, have a read at it, see what you think. I think, as I said, it's a brilliant um, concept for a, a, a design competition. Tell you what, he's done a really nice job with the planting on this course. I like all the sort of little white fences there, as I said earlier on as well. He's got a nice colour palette, some nice planting going on. I've played a couple of um, Richie's courses now, and I'll tell you what, really, really nice courses. So you've got a little island over here. Again, little white fences around the tea boxes and stuff like that. Also, nice planting. Again, some nice colour palette. You've got the sort of the reds and that just sort of poking through there. Looks like the uh, the fairways are pretty generous as well. And it looks like uh, you're actually playing all the way around the lake here. So let's just sort of go up a little bit, see if there's anything else we can see. We can sort of just zoom down and have a look at. That's pretty nice down here. A little water feature there against the, the retaining wall. Very nice. Yeah, looking forward to this one. As I said, I mean, there is a lot of competitions going on. You had the, the CC competition, the rookie design competition, you've got the parkland competition. You had the, the sort of the team event competition as well. So there's a, quite a lot of competitions going on or have been going on. And I'll tell you what, it's actually hard to sort of kind of keep up with the amount of competitions, the amount of courses that have been published and released. But some of these designers, so the, the courses that come out with time after time after time, they just get better and better. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful, that is. What hole is this? Because that might actually be my screenshot. I do like that. Okay, that is hole 7. Remember that when we're playing? That wind does seem to be blowing quite a bit. Again, nice rock work there. Nice planting in between. Very nice. Okay, I think we're going to get up onto the first tee and we shall get this started. Okay. So here we go, Moonin's Well GC, part of the Total Recall competition. 12 mile an hour wind. Oh, that's a three wood. Ooh, we could probably get right close to that green there. If we hit a nice one, of course. Oh, and we do. Pitting. Perfect, straight off the bat. Oh, that'll do it. That'll leave a nice little pitch down onto the green. Oh, we get the perfect there as well. That should run down towards the pin. Beautiful. That's going to set us up for a nice little birdie putt. Okay, nice start, start off with a birdie. Okay, on a par five. Now what I could probably do is just sort of go through the, the sort of requirements for each hole, but as I said, there's absolutely loads of them. Wow, I've just sort of... <laughs> right, hole two. I didn't know where to go with my drive. Uh, both the left and right side looked dangerous, so I aimed for the middle and hoped for the best. Luckily, the green was large enough. I was able to roll my long approach shot onto the front. So this is a hole two, 550 yards, par five. So it's 559 yards now. So you sort of get the concept. As I said, I will put a link in the description, head over and have a look. Tell you what, lovely, nice, massive, generous fairway. As you can see, it's got a massive slope right to left on it as well. We've got that wind going with us as well. So that's going to help us a bit. Oh, we hit the perfect again. So it was got a nice, nice lighting as well. Just as the ball was carrying over there, I seen the sun. Okay, the pin's right at the front of the green now. 372 yard drive, that's not too bad. 13 mile an hour wind, so I'm gonna have to drop this back quite a bit actually. Maybe to an eight iron maybe? 
So what's that is? One, 195, 6 down, so playing 193. Hmm, I think we might just go with a 7 iron. Let's try that. Okay, we the perfect. That wind's pushing it a little bit more to the right than I thought, but that should be quite good actually. Oof, went a bit further than I thought. I don't know if the AI would have made it. I think I probably would have stopped just short of the green, but that's actually coming back quite nice towards the pin. Again, you've got a nice colour palette in the background there. Nice bit of plant between the rocks just over the bunker on the right hand side. Okay, what have we got here? 15 feet, one inch up. And this is for an eagle. Come on, what's the green speed? 180, so they are pretty quick. Oh, it's going to turn too much, I think. Oh, just lipped out on that left-hand edge there. So we'll take another birdie. Still not a bad start, birdie birdie. Okay, 10 mile an hour wind coming in from the left-hand side. So we are 213, 27 down, so it's playing around about 204. 199, the 4 iron. Ooh, 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 204. You know what, I think we could probably get away with the, the five iron here. Okay, I tell you what, we've hit a few perfects. Not bad at all. Oh, that's looking nice if it gets on the green. Oh, that was so close. That was just bounced right on the front of the green there. And that sets us up for another nice birdie putt. That's beautiful, look at that. All right over the top of the lake there. Very, very nice. What a view. Okay, the fourth. Uh, 444, 36 down. Let's just smack the driver. Got a bit of wind right in our face this time. Slight fast, gonna pull it a little bit to the left, but it should be okay, as I said. These fairways are nice and generous. Again, he's got that sloping on the fairways as well. Just make sure approach shot that a little bit harder. I see massive slope right to left there. Okay, eight mile an hour wind again. So we're gonna aim right over here. Oh, I felt that one. That was a massive fast. Oh, that might be heading towards the water. Ooh. Oh, that's okay. Still on the green. But that was a massive fast, that one. Okay, well, we've got 27 feet, 4 inches up. Oh, come on, turn, turn, turn. Oh, just missed the birdie there. But we'll take the par, hopefully. Okay, fifth hole, par four, and it is 327, nine down. Again, it's just, ooh, let's see the driver here. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh that's, let's bring that in from the left-hand side, shall we? Let's try that. Slight fast, but it should be okay. I did have it aimed over to the right a bit. Ooh. Going to end up in the bunker. That's not too bad. The splash shots are not too bad now. Uh, let's sort of fix them. Let's just aim it to about there. Oh, bit of a fast. Stop pretty quick. So we should have another nice putt for a birdie. We get it. Nice one. Okay, six hole, par three. Do like this area down here. Again, nice colour palette. Nice bit of plant. Okay, what well, we got? 249, eight down. Oh, that's quite a longish par three, this one. 249. 248. 
A bit of wind should slow the ball down. Oh crap, that's a bit of a slope. It's going to be well over to the right hand side of the green. At least it's kicked on, gives us a chance at a putt. It's going to be a massive putt though. Oof, what have we got? Oh, and it's way downhill. 52 feet and one foot down. I'm going to have to aim this way over here. Just try and let the slope take it. Tell you what, that's looking not bad. Slow down, come on. Ooh. That'll do it. Hopefully, oh, it's coming back a bit. Hopefully, it can pick up the par. Oh, I thought I was going to turn that. I forgot to mention in my last video, actually. Um, no, I'm a big boxing fan. I don't know if you've watched the, the Fury and Wilder 3 fight. What a fight that was. Again, uh, sort of Tyson Fury just showed his skill. I mean, the fight. The fight itself was more of a slugfest than a sort of technical sort of fight by Fury, but... I mean, Fury knocked him down, what, in the third round, I think it was, and then Wilder knocked him down twice in the fourth round, I think it was, so it was, uh, the, the, the fight itself sort of swung back and forward. But what really got my goat up was at the end of the fight, uh, Fury walked over to, like, I mean, there's a big bit of beef between them. Fury walked over to, like, say, him, oh, well done, it was a good fight and things like that, and he just told him to go away, he didn't respect him or anything. I thought that was absolutely disgusting. But he actually wrote a, he um, released a statement, uh, I think it was a day or two days after, and he actually did congratulate him, he, he said well done to him, he just didn't um, do what he needed to do. It was a hell of a fight though, I wasn't really looking that forward to it. See that's what happens when I go off on a tangent and just talk about things, I don't concentrate, but as I said, yeah, it was a really really good fight. Oh shit, oh I thought, I, thought I'd missed that. Was that a par or a bogey? See, I just talk about crap and I forget what I'm doing. What was that? Did you do? Oh, that's all right. It was a par. <laughs> I just forget what, what, what kind of score I'm hitting. Again, look at this massive wide fairway here. Absolutely lovely. So this is a par five. Massive dog leg all the way around to the left here. That wind is going to make it difficult to get on the green too. Okay, slight slope, so it's going to take a little bit of distance off. Okay, let me just mute this for a second while I grab a quick drink. Okay. Right, three wood should... Oh, I don't know, it's a bit close to the trees from that side, so I don't think it's going to go over the trees. Should get over this little one on the left-hand side here. Let's try that. I've got a bit of a slope there as well, though. Slightly faster, that should be absolutely fine, though. I do like the way it plays around this massive lake that he's got here. Okay, that was, should be okay just going in with the pitch here. Oh crap, slow. Come on wind, push that in for me. Go on, hit the green. Oh, I'll tell you what, that worked out okay. And we drop it in for a birdie. Yep, birdie. Minus five. I tell you what, I don't know what it is, but I played my society matches the other day, and it's probably the best score I've hit on my society. Uh, we did three rounds at uh, Valderrama. And I hit 20, 
24 under I think it was. Usually I'm like maybe minus two, minus three, sometimes I'm plus. But I hit a minus eight first round, minus 10 second round, which was really good. Oh crap, I think I might run out. And it's into the thick stuff. Yeah, so I've actually, I'm actually be, been playing not too bad. The last couple of, last couple of days I've been playing. Oh, we're about 84 to 91%. I think we should be good there because that wind is going to help a lot. Again, we hit a blooming slow. Come on, get up there and run. It's going to run for us. Again, that worked out okay. Do you know what? I forgot to take the screenshot on the seventh. <laughs> I was probably talking about Tyson Fury and Wilder at the time. Right, this should be okay. Nice little chip up to the pin. Oh, that's a hell. That honestly didn't feel that big of a slow to me. That was terrible. Okay, well, we've got 13 feet to the pin. Let's turn him. Go on, get in. Nice. That gives a part. So minus five after the front nine. That's a good front nine. Nice course. Okay, three wood. Let's go with the driver. Par four again. You've got this sloping fairway right to left and that massive bit of wind just coming from the right hand side here. Oh, hold on. Come there. Nah. I was going to think about going right down the middle there. Oh, sugar. Slow. That wind is going to keep it in for us, I think, though. And get a nice kick. Nice bounce there. Only 280 yards. Okay, bit of a slope right to the left. And you've got that wind as well. 11 mile an hour. So we've got 164, two foot down. Let's drop that down to the nine iron. Let's play that way over here. Oh, again, a bit of a slope. Hopefully it's going to hit the green. Hit that massive slope there on the right-hand side. And trickle down towards the pin. Oh, it has as well. Go on. Get in there. Nice. That actually worked out. Not too bad at all. Oh, crap. Oh, dear. Oh, did you see um, EA and FIFA? Uh, EA might be losing the, the FIFA name. Uh, FIFA are getting greedy. They asked them for a billion, billion dollars to keep using the FIFA name. I don't know if that was over one year or three years or whatever. But EA are um, thinking about just um, going with EA FC, I think it is, something like that, football. Now, can you imagine if 2K stole the FIFA brand off of EA? <laughs> They would have Tiger Woods, and then they'd have the FIFA. I don't know how it's going to go though, because uh, they've been using the FIFA brand for so long. But they still have the rights to all the, the player names and the stadiums and things like that. It's just actually the, the FIFA name that they won't have. And of course, with the FIFA name comes the World Cup, so they won't have that either. Oh, that's slow. Ah, oh, I felt that one. Concentrate. Right, I want to hit it this kind of slope here. That should be okay. It's going to run, kick in. Oh, it's going to run well past though. And it might actually catch that slope down here, and I think this might trickle off the back. It has. Yep, just caught that slope. Right, I'm going to have to concentrate. Stop jibber jabber. But I mean, when I'm doing a video and when I'm um, playing, I can't just sit there, you know what I mean, and not talk. You've got to talk about crap <laughs> or it'd be a boring video, to be honest. Right, get the par there on the par five. Okay, so we've got a blind, let me just, got a blind tee shot here, as you can see with the, the aim marker. Let me see the way back here. Where's it gone? 
There you go. Stick that. The marker. Back to the driver. Oh, that wind's against us. You might have thought that was going the other way. You could probably reach that. Let's change camera views. Oh, pitting. Beauty. Perfect. Get in now. Okay, nice view of the clubhouse down there. It's going to leave us a nice little pit shot. Okay, you get perfect. That'll do. Should pick up the birdie from there, I think. Oh! Should take my time a little bit on that one. So that is just going to be a par. I tell you what, I mean, I hope you're enjoying the, the videos in 4K. It's, it's made the file sizes absolutely huge, though, to be honest. Right, what have we got here? 165, 7 feet up, so it's playing 167. 152 with this 10 mile an hour wind. Do you know what? That should be okay. Slight slow, it's going to push it just a bit. As a matter of fact, it's actually just missed the perfect, so it shouldn't be too bad. Come on, ball, stop. Oh, it caught like a little ridge there on the green. Just pushed it over to the right. Oh, it's picking up speed. Where's it going? Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Oof, look at that. That is nasty. All right. Three feet up. Oh, I actually pulled that back a little bit as well, and I still hit it too hard. So we could end up with a bogey here. Come on. Uh, tough par three that green you have to get right up on this top shelf here go on get in get in get in oh damn it so that is going to be a bogey okay so we'll drop a shot that it takes us down to what minus four and a big string of pars here but i'm not a birdie in a few holes so let's see if we can get one here that winds sort of went up a bit as well. 15 mile an hour coming from the left hand side there. Oh sugar. That was terrible. Right, red fast. Let's see how far this carries. Look at that. Still carried about 290 there. So they have actually reduced how, how penal the red fasts are. I haven't really checked it out before to be honest. But yeah, before it used to only carry what? 250 260 i think it was tell you what 14 mile an hour wind 126 one oh, i don't know if we'll get that to it. Oh, 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 oh. right in between clubs here do you know what i think as long as we don't hit yeah there we go 104 percent. i held that up in transition there just to get that extra bit of power on it and that's absolutely fine Turn, turn, go on. Oh, oof, just slipped it out on that left hand edge there. Probably just a little bit too pacey, I think. 180 greens. That should have been a birdie though. Okay, 14 mile an hour and still coming in from that left hand side. Three wood. That's not gonna. Can we reach it over there? I think we probably could, you know. Yeah, because we're on a slightly raised tee here. Oh shite, sugar, yes, I'll take it, oh, easily cleared it, easily cleared it, and that's going to kick in as well, do you apologise for the word there, <laughs> okay, right, pitching wedge, 91, 14 up, 
So it's playing around about what, 95, 96. So we should be good going in there. Just with a pitch shot here. 14 mile an hour wind though. Okay, we're perfect, lovely. Wind's turning around. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Beautiful. Right. Definitely gonna pick up a birdie here. Finally. What hole was that? So we went all the way from the eighth hole to the fifteenth before we got another birdie there. Okay, par three. Oh, that's a lovely looking par three in that one. I might actually take a screenshot of this for my thumbnail. Okay, we got the perfect, lovely. How much wind is... Oh, that's not too bad. All right, bear with me for a couple of seconds, guys, while I just grab a quick screenshot. I like to get a screenshot of my guy on the green. Yeah, you like that one. Okay, I've seen enough of you. Right, let's get that up. Let's turn the pun grid off. And... Let's take it from, tell you what, I might actually take it from just back here. So you've got the lake in there as well. Yeah, that looks nice. I mean, you can't even see my guy from here, to be honest. <laughs> That'll do, I think. Right, there we go. Oh, that's not a bad looking putt, actually. That's quite straight. Come on. Oh, it's just pushed to the right. Damn it. So it looks like we're going to pick up the par here. I thought we were going to be in for a really good score there as well after that front line. Right, you got that. That's the one with the little sort of water feature there. Driver, we're not going to make it up to the top here. So I think I'm actually just going to push that down to three wood. That 13 mile an hour wind should stop it from getting to the bunker, I think. I hope. Slight fast. Oh, do you know what? I didn't think it probably might even roll towards the bunker. Ah, oh, that's okay. Okay, slow down, slow down. Oh, 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 we could get any closer on that. Right, so we've got 158, 12 up, so it's playing around about 162. We've got that wind against us. Okay, we've got the perfect, lovely. Look at that wind just pushing up way over to the left. Oh, that's going to be nice. Come on, get up there. Oh, a little bit further. Would have been nice. Come on, get in, drop. There we go, buddy. Okay, on to the 18th. Really nice course though. Oh, I didn't want to save that. Wasn't that bloody good? What was that, 20 feet? I hit the wrong button. Again, with that wind, par five, final hole. 14 mile an hour wind coming in. Oh shh, crap. Oh, this is in the bunker, it's not the water, that's okay. We probably wouldn't have reached the green two anyway without wind, I don't think. Let's take it down to probably the hybrid. Try and get a bit of distance on it. As long as it gets over this bunker here, we should be fine. So fast. Oof. Making a meal out of this one. We've still got a chance to go on the green and go for a birdie here. Come on, let's go. Let's get this. Oh, that wind just dropped right down there. No, I am going to go with this one. Oh, bloody hell. Another slow. But we are there. Sort of pin height, and it gives us a chance at the putt. 
to my boat. Stop. Ah, nowhere near it. Damn it. <laughs> so that should end us up with a par. For a what? Minus five was that, I think? No, oh, minus six. That's not too bad then. So there you go, guys. That is a Moonin's Well GC. And that is a rich, rich, is, um, rich NUFC 99. That is his entry into the Total Recall competition. Don't forget, guys, I will put a link in the description for the course and the Total Recall competition. Head over, have a look at the, the sort of write-up he's done for the, the competition and the, the course as well. Absolutely brilliant concept for a competition. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's a very, very nice course. Really, really liked it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time. Don't forget, stay safe.